Hello and welcome to Champions of Akash, a one-of-a-kind initiative that's bringing you success stories of the top performers in the NEET exam this year. Now we bring you the story of Shivam Patel, a boy from Meerut who dabbled with the idea of becoming a filmmaker, an astrophysicist, and today he scored very well in NEET, is one of the top scorers, and of course, he's on his way to become a doctor. Let us all welcome Shivam Patel. First of all, Shivam, congratulations for doing exceedingly well in NEET. How does it feel? It feels really nice. Yes, you worked so hard for it and your dreams coming true? Yeah. Okay, tell me something. Um, uh, how did you decide to become a doctor? What made you choose medicine? Uh, well, it wasn't a very long thought of decision. Like when I, in my early childhood, I was really interested in the art of filmmaking. So I wanted to be a filmmaker. But then I realized it wasn't really that viable. And then I found my interest in science and then astrophysics and then I just found my love from, for biology through my sister and decided to set uh, my eyes on the goal of becoming a doctor, a medical pro professional. And tell me then, when you thought about taking up medicine, um, what made you come to Akash? I mean, how did you settle down that, okay, this is the mentor I need to have in my journey towards becoming a doctor? Well, it is simply the best institute in our country for a medical practice like uh, it was an obvious decision. It doesn't mean that I didn't dabble between other institutes and other facilities for education. I even considered some individual tuitions, uh, some online classes, but it just didn't feel right. When I went to Akash, I found out the facility, I met with the faculties, it just felt the right thing to do. Akash provided me with an amazing platform. Uh, I am a very competitive person and the competition within my classroom itself, like it motivated me to be the to come out from among the crowd and stand out among the crowd. So it definitely did the best in providing me a platform to show myself. So Shivam, all students have like a weakness or two. Let's say you are clear on the concept, but you're making a careless mistake and losing marks because of that. So when you came to Akash, how did they help you identify what your weaknesses are and how did you build on them to come out the strong? Well, I was always quite clear with my concepts, but I used to make uh, very silly and careless mistakes. And it definitely frustrated me a bit because it just felt like something that uh, couldn't be treated or worked upon. But uh, my, whenever I told this to my teachers, uh, they scolded me a little bit, but also motivated me. And uh, they uh, pointed out where I was uh, really doing wrong. And uh, by the end, I was uh, pretty much done with, with all my weaknesses. I had overcome them and it just felt great. Okay, tell me uh, any one particular aspect of Akash or any facility of Akash that you think is, is really commendable, that really helped you? Uh, well, the teachers are like so close to the students uh, and doubt session feel almost feels like a friendly session. Even when I didn't used to have doubt, I would just come and listen to them. It just motivated me and uh, just relieved my stress. Um, we'll open the floor for Q&A with the audience now because I'm sure all the aspirants here have a lot of questions to ask. Can you please raise your hands and we'll make sure that the mic comes to you. Can we have a mic go across, please? First of all, congratulations, Bhaiya. Uh, my question is, during the last month of your need preparation, what was your overall revision plan so that you can revise all over 90 chapters that are in the syllabus? Uh, well, my last month preparation wasn't that much different from my overall preparation. I uh, usually just give the tests and then analyze your mistakes. Like if there if there is a mistake you have made, just learn the entire concept that what I did. I didn't uh, really uh, go through the entire syllabus all by myself in the last month because I think that's quite a, a mountainous feat. But uh, I just analyze my mistakes and um, make sure to make a note of your mistakes in like a notebook or something. So how did you navigate your way with backlog, especially 11th syllabus? Did you, uh, your uh, unique way, did you simultaneously manage 11th as you were studying 12th or did you leave it for the last few months to revisit altogether? Um, I left it for the last few months of the revision. It definitely, uh, if I had an opportunity, I would definitely go down to revise my strategy as well. But it uh, didn't really pose that much of a, of a problem. Uh, in the last, I just focused on uh, a few and uh, my NCRTs and my modules and just so resolve the questions. It just it doesn't take that much time because you have already studied it. But uh, yeah, it was. And uh, as of uh, burnout, how did you cope with that? Well, I just uh, watched movie. It replenished me. Mm -hmm. To be honest, uh, I know a phone is like a big enemy for the preparation, but I didn't really cut out that much 
on my screen time uh, it definitely um, replenished me and uh, relieved stress for me so that was shivam patel's story but make sure you do watch the other success stories on champions of akash on the platform thank you for joining